let's talk about the record keeping and reporting requirements. And believe it or not, the bank has been deputized to collect. Uh, actually, I talked to a guy in FinCEN. He says you're collecting um, financial intelligence, which is, you know, that sounds pretty special. But uh, really what you're doing is you're collecting information about your customers and either reporting it to the government or you're holding on to it. So if the government as part of their investigation, they ever need to come and ask for things because they're trying to track down money launderers or uh, you know, human traffickers or whatever the case may be, they can come to the bank and you have those records for them so that they can catch the bad guy. So CTRs, CTR exemptions, SARS, you've probably heard all of these, but uh, let's go high level through each one. Now CTRs, that's a, it's a required report that you are required anytime you have a cash transaction that is in the course of, so cr cash transactions during the course of a single day that either alone or aggregated are over $10,000, you're required to fill out a form and there's a, there's a report that's generated that goes to the government. So keep in mind, we're talking about cash here. We're talking about a single day where it's either a, a single transaction that's 10,000 in cash or aggregated aggregated. So you have somebody who is going through maybe to multiple branches or maybe in multiple transactions and they're bringing in cash. A few keys here. Uh, this is where you're watching for structuring, right? So, you know, sometimes they're breaking it down because they're trying to avoid this requirement. So if somebody is breaking down their cash transactions, trying to avoid this, that's a red flag and you need to report it to your BSA department. Um, so they may come in multiple transactions. They may be going to multiple branches. And your bank has a system to try to aggregate it together by customer. So you can keep track of when you need to file these. So look out for smurfing. That's the word of the day. Smurfing is when you break down transactions to avoid this type of reporting. Um, you break it into small chunks. Um, and then also look out for mules. Every once in a while, you have people who come in with a lot of cash and they don't really have a story for why that cash is going into their account. And uh, if that's the case, that's another thing that should be a red flag. 